this is kind of like a, a public notice that uh, to uh, there's something I just came across. I came across a video, okay, and this is in Canada. This is really just for Canadians, okay, and it's I don't know if that'll capture capture it or not. There, uh, stupid thing. XER sees due to misinformation. Lara magazine. Now, uh, what happens here is a guy has an XER. I was just researching the XERM rifle, um, and he has his uh, an RCMP officer. I'm not sure what province he's in. It won't really matter because this is this is for all of Canada. Seizes his rifle because he had Lara 15 magazines. Now, Lara 15 magazines are basically 223 magazine caliber. Yes, you could probably put some Bay Wolves in there and stuff like that. I've seen people experiment with them. But the thing is, is they're 10 round magazines per pistol. Now, the regulation for a magazine is on exactly that, the magazine. Pistols are basically 10 rounds, okay? So a pistol magazine is 10 rounds. If it's a pistol, 10 rounds is the max you can put in that magazine. It could be a 30 round magazine, but it'll be pinned to 10 rounds. Sent, uh, uh, if it's a rim fire pistol, um, uh, magazine it will also be pinned to 10 rounds now let's say it's a uh, a rifle uh in rim fire well it, there's no limit so a 22 like a ruger 1022 or a vtr 597 like i have there's no limit on those but if it's a pistol then it, the magazine is limit a pistol magazine then it is limited to 10 rounds going with handguns of center fire the pistol magazine is limited to 10 rounds now Hang on, for those of you who think you already know this, there's going to be a, there's going to be a little flip in here, okay? Uh, we're talking a center fire uh, rifle, it'll be limited, semi-automatic rifle, it will be limited to five rounds, and bolt actions are limited to ten rounds, okay? Now, what people have been doing, you have to understand, the, the RCMP are authoritarians, uh, you know, like the chiefs of police and stuff like that. They're liberal appointees that were, you know, very authoritarian. They don't like guns. They don't like people having guns. Uh, not all RCMP officers, but the people at the top definitely hate gun owners. Uh, it's, it's just, you could tell, uh, because, you know, they don't like us having any gun freedoms whatsoever. They won't, if they had their way, they would ban everything. What people have been doing is buying LAR magazines and using them in their uh, AR-15s. Uh, in this case, it was an XER which is chambered in 223, that variant. Uh, XCRs are chambered in a few different rounds, and he had it seized on him. Now, the RCMP officer, unfortunately, is actually right. Uh, and here's why. Special bulletin number, business number 72. I don't know when they did this, but it was probably after they caught the loophole, right? So the loophole used to be the, and it still is kind of the same for, for example, pistol, Pistols are basically all limited. Pistol magazines are all limited to 10 rounds, regardless of, of rim fire or center fire. Center fire semi automatic rifle magazines uh, that are dedicated to sit, like, say, we'll use a, a you know, proprietary magazine that can't be used in both rifles and pistols. Pistols in Canada are basically something without a stock on it. So, if uh, regardless of barrel length, if it has no stock on it, it's considered a pistol. Uh, so, with that, uh, if you had an AR-15 or a LAR-15 pistol, as basically a LAR-15 pistol is a, an AR-15 without a stock on it. Okay, it'll be classified as a pistol. Therefore, it, you can use the LAR-15 magazines in the LAR pistol, but you cannot use them in the AR-15. I know a lot of people say, no, 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 you can. Uh, this is the RCMP website. They, this is an update. Again, they've closed that loophole. So. This is why this is important. You go check it out for yourself. I'm not lying to you. And in fact, I, I, I thought it was the other way. Well, it was the other way. It's just they, they've closed the loophole now. I don't know when this when this was effective. But it's just there's a lot of guys doing videos here in Canada, shooting 10-round magazines in non-restricted rifles, going to find out that if, you know, you, you, you meet a game laws officer. Uh, some provinces, we have, like here in Quebec, we have provincial police game laws officers. Uh, and the RCMP. Some provinces only have the RCMP to be kind of a little bit of everything. So, background. Uh, the maximum capacity of a cartridge magazine is set out in Part 4 of the regulations prescribed, uh, uh, prescribing certain firearms and other weapons, components and parts of weapons, accessories, cartridges, magazines, ammunition, and projectiles as prohibited or restricted, uh, restricted 
uh, yeah. The regulation prescribed prohibited devices and the magazine that has a capacity which exceeds the maximum uh, permitted capacity is prohibited device. So everybody understands what's so 11 rounds, you're an evil person. Um, six rounds in a rifle mag, you're an evil person. Uh, business can be in possession of prohibited devices if appropriately licensed. However, individuals may not be in possession of uh, you know, prohibited devices. If you're watching this video, you're probably one of the people I can't have. It. Okay, magazine regulated have been uh, enforced since 1993. However, in recent years, new cartridge magazines, uh, here's how they close the loophole. Um, uh, yeah, in recent years, new cartridge magazines have been introduced, which have resulted in a novel situation as it concerns the application of, of the regulations. There has been no charge to the regulations none, nonetheless, which is true, it means that the magazines are you know, the uh, regulation is still on the magazine, not so much on the firearm, but as we go, uh, nonetheless, the application exists for the regulation of a few products has given the appearance of change in the law, meaning people think if you can take the 10-round LAR mag, throw it from the LAR pistol into the LAR uh, AR-15, you'll be fine. This has been uh, particularly evident in the case of cartridge magazines designed for manufacture for more than one type of firearm. Okay, purpose. The purpose of this bulletin is to provide clarity of the maximum permit capacity of a cartridge magazine designed for and or manufactured for the use of more than one kind of firearm. Note that the maximum permitted capacity of a magazine is determined by the physical characteristics of the firearm. It is de designated ma uh, manufactured for the type of ammunition for which it is designed. The maximum per uh, permitted capacity of the magazine does not depend on the classification of the firearm. It's a bit of a contradiction here. Nor does the magazine capacity influence the classification of the firearm, but it kind of does. You'll see what I mean. So, for example, you have a LAR-15 magazine fully loaded with 10 rounds in it, sitting beside an AR-15, which is a restricted firearm. At that point, that firearm is still restricted, okay? But the second you take that LAR magazine, pistol magazine, and put it into the uh, AR-15, that now becomes, they, it, it makes them both prohibited. It's like taking a positive battery and a negative battery thermal and touching them together. You'll get sparks, and the sparks being your, your rifle's gonna get seized. Now, if it, let's say we go the other way around, they're gonna give uh, examples too, and I'll read them in a second, but just so, you know, give you my, my spiel on it. If you had a LAR-15 pistol with an AR, a pin to five rounds uh, AR-15 uh, rifle mag pinned to five rounds, you can take that magazine because it's less than the capacity uh, of the pistol magazine, it's still fine. You, you could throw that in there. So you can put in less, but you can't put in more. Um, here we go. We're, we'll get into it. Uh, 22s kind of fall into this category here. So magazines designed and manufactured for both rimfire chamber rifles and handguns. Magazine designed to contain rimfire cartridges and design or manufacture for the use in a rifle do not have a regulation regulated capacity. However, uh, the magazine designed to contain uh, rimfire cartridges and design or manufactured for the use in semi-automatic handguns are limited to 10 cartridges. Magazines designed or manufactured for the use in both rifle and semi-automatic handguns are subjected to the handgun limit of 10 cartridges. Uh, example, Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 uh, and the and 1522P pistol chambered in 22 long rifle caliber. The 10 round magazine is unregulated. The 25 round magazine is a prohibited device. So I'm pretty sure, okay, the M&P looks like a, an AR-15, okay? It has a 25 round magazine. You can use that in the, uh, like I say, in the, you know, in the rifle, but you can't take that and put it into the pistol, even if it fits, because it's, you know, it's, you know, you can't. But you can use the ten round in both of them. I know Canadian gun laws are stupid; they don't make sense. Uh, example two: Ruger XB25 magazine chambered for 22 long rifle caliber is designed and manufactured for the use of the Ruger SR22 and the 1022 uh, family rifles carbines and the 22 charger handgun. As a result, the magazine is prohibited device unless modified to uh, its capacity to 10 rounds or less. This information was not included on the original version of the bulletin, but as of 2013, uh, September 5th. So this is a very, 
you know, no, no, nobody is going to know about this law. So in other words, watch out because this is how they're going to seize a lot of guns. Uh, the RCMP does dirty things like that all the time. Not all the time, but every other year they'll, they'll change a the gun law. There's no way people are going to know what they are. You know, and then they'll, they'll tell a select few guys that are willing to go out and enforce this on people who don't know. And it's not, here's your citation, here's your warning, now you know, next time I guess you, I'll take your guns. Sorry to have to break it to you, but that's, you know, it's not like that. It's, I mean, and it, what's the cost of an XER? What, $3,000? I mean, okay, I can understand the RCMP guy giving them a citation look. You could keep the mag because it's legal. Just keep it out of that rifle, pin it to five rounds. Okay, yes, it sucks. This is why you got to call your MPs and MLAs. Get cracking on that because the RCMP clearly does not follow the law uh, when it goes against their anti-gun agenda. Uh, even Bill's uh, C-19, they, they, you know, uh, this is why, this is the stuff I'm talking about. It's it's banned by red tape. Okay, so, uh, okay, two, dis uh, magazines designed, uh, manufactured for both uh, center uh, fire caliber uh, 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 rifles and handguns. Magazines designed for to contain center car, uh, car, eh, center fire cartridges and designed for manufactured use in semi-automatic rifle are limited to five characters. However, magazines designed to contain center fire cartridges to uh, design or manufactured for the use in semi-automatic handguns are limited to ten rounds. If it's a pistol, you're ten rounds, no matter what what magazine fits in there. It's the pistol has a limit of ten rounds. Pistol magazines have a limit of 10 rounds. It's, it's 10 rounds. Magazines designed or manufactured and used for both semi-automatic rifles and semi-automatic handguns are subjected to a 5-round cartridge. So, if it fits in both, it's 5 rounds. Basically, okay, example, high-point rifle handgun chambered a 9mm Luger. Uh, magazine capacity over 5 rounds are prohibited. So, you know, okay, magazines designed or... Uh, Oops, sorry, something just popped up here. Get off my screen. I said get off my screen. There we go. Okay, magazines designed and manufactured for both a center fire semi-automatic rifles or other non-restricted rifles. Uh, magazines designed to contain center fire cartridges are designed and used in semi-automatic semi rifles are limited to five cartridges. However, magazines designed to contain center fire cartridges designed for uh, manufacture use in other rifles other than semi-automatic or automatic uh, rifles do not have regula uh, regulated capacity. Magazines that are designed for manufactured use both semi-automatic rifle or uh, other non-restricted semi-automatic rifles are subjected to semi-automatic uh, limit of five uh, cartridges. Example, Remington 7615 pump action rifle chambered for 223 caliber uh, Uh, yeah, a 10-round magazine is prohibited. Five, uh, yeah, so, yeah, okay, yeah, so, I, I think everybody gets that. Uh, magazines designed for firearms, but used in different firearms. Maximum uh, permit, uh, permitted capacity of magazines in determined by uh, kind of firearms is designed for manufacture use and not the kind of firearm it might actually be used in. As a consequence, maximum capacity remains the same regardless of which firearm it is used in. Example, Marlin 45 uh, Camp Carbine Rifle, chambered in 45 Auto, U caliber uses magazines design manufactured for the Colt 1911 handgun. Therefore, the 7-round and 8-round capacity ca uh, are, are permitted. Okay, A similar example is a 10-round capacity magazine for the Rock River Arms Lar. 15 pistol, regardless of any kind of fire it is actually used in. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me read that again. Okay. Uh, yeah, similar example is 10 round capacity magazines for the Rock River LAR 15, uh, Rock River Arms LAR 15, regardless of any kind of firearm it's actually used in. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I guess that goes back. Okay. Yeah, cause that, that, that's okay. Magazines for semi-automatic handguns, which contain more than ten rounds uh, of a different caliber. Okay, yeah, here we go. This gets interesting. Uh, magazines designed to contain a center, uh, a center fire cartridge, and designed 
or manufacture for the use in a handgun are limited to 10 cartridges. The capacity is measured by the kind of cartridge the magazine was designed to contain. In some cases, magazines will ex be uh, uh, compatible containing more than 10 rounds of a different caliber. However, this is not relevant in the determination of the maximum capacity. Uh, example, Heckler & Koch uh, P7 pistol chambered in 9mm Luger. The magazine was designed for 40 Smith & Wesson caliber. The variant of the pistol will hold 13 cartridges of the 9mm Luger and function uh, uh, yeah, Luger caliber and function the, in the 9mm Luger caliber P7 pistol. This is permissible as a maximum permitted capacity of the 40 caliber magazine must be measured by the number of 40 caliber uh, cartridges it is capable of holding in such 10 cartridges uh, in that case of the, that pistol magazine. For more information, uh, please contact the RCMP at the Canadian Firearms Program by one of the following, 1-800-731-4000, extension 2542. Okay, this goes back to what I was saying about Canadian gun laws. Almost, some guns have their own uh, their own rules, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just ridiculous. Who's going to, you know, like, who's going to realize all this, you know what I mean? So it, it's basically a way to manufacture criminals or, you know, banned by red tape or uh, to uh, justify confiscation, which is definitely not fair. Uh, another scenario would probably be uh, the AIA M10 uh, modified Enfield, uh, which holds is a bolt-action rifle that holds 10 rounds, but that magazine is basically an M14 magazine, so if you get caught with that magazine in your uh, Norenko M14 or Springfield M1A, uh, the limit is going to, it has to be pinned to 5 rounds. Basically, the the law is designed in such a way that it, it almost guarantees to manufacture criminals. Now they posted this. They know, you know, you know all the. I mean, how many gun owners do not know this? You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't think it's up to. I think the laws are just way too complicated. Again, people, I've been saying it. Call your MPs. Call your MLAs. I'll be putting my links down below. This is very important because there's a lot of people that are not criminals that are now going to have something on them. And because every time you get caught with a firearm. That's out of regulation. It is not a misdemeanor. It is a criminal offense. They're manufacturing criminals. Uh, it's the same with the storage laws. This is just, it's, it's idiocy. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'll give, I'll, okay, uh, if you want to YouTube the video, it's XCR seized due to misinformation in brackets, LAR 15 magazine. Unfortunately, no, they, they closed that loophole. Uh... The, uh, I guess the user is uh, Chrome Arty. Um, I just stumbled on it, so it's like I, I, this is kind of one of those videos that just kind of pops out of nowhere. But this is something spread it around, particularly to your gun community. Unfortunately, that's the way the RCMP operates. Um, I don't blame the officer for uh, doing his job, but you know, you know, all he had to do is say, "Look, uh, this is what the new regulations are. I'm going to give you a citation." So if we catch you again, you know, at least give them that, you know, to seize this fire, you know, because again, this guy, you know, uh, if that law didn't exist, he was practicing, he was basically a law-abiding citizen until the law was changed to make him a criminal. So that's what I mean, manufactured criminal. So I don't know what the outcome is going to be for this poor guy, but uh, I hope he gets his rifle back. You know, that's just ridiculous. So anyway, because uh, what the next step is, they're going to probably put something, everything at a four-round magazine capacity, and then, oh, also, hey, look, you're breaking the law. we got to take that on you. Uh, to me, that is definitely unlawful seizure, you know. Uh, there's there's no justification for it. So anyway, I can go on, it, it, I'm just fuming right now. So rate, subscribe, and damn it, call your MPs and MLAs. This kind of ridiculousness is just, it's stupidity. It's stupidity. You know, with all, just one last thing I'll say is, with all the cold cases of people who've lost loved ones, who've had children abducted, and who've had murders that need to be solved, this is the stuff our taxpayers waste their money on. Think about that. We'd rather have solved cold cases, or take somebody's uh, rifle that they've worked hard to get, practicing a law, you know, you know, not hurting anybody. Ah, okay, anyway. Okay, hi and welcome. Uh, this is kind of like a, a public notice that uh, to, uh, there's something I just came across. I came across a video, okay, and this is in Canada. This is really just for Canadians. 
Okay, and it's, I don't know if that'll capture, capture it or not there. Ex, uh, stupid thing. XCR seized due to misinformation, LAR magazine. Now, uh, what happens here is a guy has an XCR, I was just researching the XCRM rifle, um, and he has his, uh, an RCMP officer, I'm not sure what province he's in, it won't really matter because this is, this is for all of Canada, seizes his rifle because he had LAR-15 magazines. Now, LAR-15 magazines are basically 223 magazine caliber. Yes, you could probably put some Beowulfs in there and stuff like that. I've seen people experiment with them. But the thing is, is they're 10-round magazines per pistol. Now, the regulation for a magazine is on exactly that, the magazine. Pistols are basically 10 rounds, okay? So a pistol magazine is 10 rounds. If it's a pistol, 10 rounds is the max you can put in that magazine. It could be a 30-round magazine, but it'll be pinned to 10 rounds. Sent, uh, uh, if it's a rimfire pistol um, uh, magazine, it will also be pinned to 10 rounds. Now, let's say it's a, uh, a rifle uh, in rimfire. Well, it, there's no limit. So a 22, like a Ruger 1022 or a VTR 597 like I have, there's no limit on those. But if it's a pistol, then it the magazine is limit a pistol magazine then it is limited to 10 rounds going with handguns of center fire the pistol magazine is limited to 10 rounds now hang on for those of you who think you already know this there's going to be a there's going to be a little flip in here okay uh we're talking a center fire uh rifle it'll be limited semi-automatic rifle it will be limited to five rounds and bolt actions are limited to 10 rounds okay now what people have been doing you have to understand, the, the RCMP are authoritarians, uh, you know, like the chiefs of police and stuff like that. They're liberal appointees that were, you know, very authoritarian. They don't like guns. They don't like people having guns. Uh, not all RCMP officers, but the people at the top definitely hate gun owners. Uh, it's, it's just, you could tell, it could because, you know, they don't like us having any gun freedoms whatsoever. They want, if they had their way, they would ban everything. What people have been doing is buying LAR magazines and using them in their... Uh, AR-15s, uh, in this case it was an XCR, which is chambered in 223, that variant, uh, XCRs are chambered in a few different rounds, and